I'm never more me than when I receive you. I am never more free in the things that I do. Keep my heart and mind and will in communion with you still. I'm never more me. Take my eyes off me and turn my heart toward you. I find the peace in praise. Your kingdom's everything. This adoring heart longs for the presence of the King. I'm never more me than when I receive you. I'm never more free in the things that I do. Keep my heart and mind and will in communion with you still. I'm never more me. Yourself to me, a miracle. Heaven meets my soul. Take my body given, broken now for you. The chalice of my saving blood poured out to make things new. I'm never more me. With you still, I'm never more me. Never more me. Be Jesus Christ, now and, now and forever. God is acting in us and through us. In our changing world, the truth of His Word and the gift of His Holy Eucharist nourish us in the kingdom of God. We gather as the body of Christ, foremost to give God glory and to offer all that we are back to Him. And in so doing, our Lord fills us. We celebrate the 20th Sunday in ordinary time. Let's not be distracted by masks or distancing or anything. Also, please turn off or silence all electronic devices so that nothing takes away from God's holy and powerful word being spoken to each one of us in this holy mass. 
Please, after giving God glory and receiving him, let's go forth alive in the kingdom, but avoid gathering in the commons. This is temporary and will pass. Welcome to anyone who is visiting or who would like to belong to this community of faith. Please contact the parish office with your desire to belong. And now, let us be still as all angels and saints in heaven adore and praise Jesus' life-giving sacrifice. Let us see what they see, give what they give, receive who they receive, and become one with them. God's holy presence moves us in true worship to do so.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion in the Holy Spirit be with you. Thanks be to God for your steadfastness. This morning we celebrated the holy solemnity of the Assumption of Mary. Body and soul, powerful intercessor, first of all disciples, a warrior, warrior mother of Jesus and the church. And here you are in torrential rains, Imagine you took your ark here. We are experiencing bad water coming in with all this beautiful new woodwork and pillars in back of me. It's two inches deep over there. And so, uh, ay, ay, ay. Yeah, um, they say we needed the water. So we can turn it off now. I think we have plenty. We need God's mercy to rain down divine grace to prepare our lives to encounter Christ Jesus crucified and risen from the dead in this one sweeping action of holy mass we prepare and call to mind our sins Lord Jesus you have shown us the way to the Father Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Lord Jesus you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us all of our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We glorify God as we pray. Glory to God in the highest. On earth, peace to people of goodwill. <clears throat> we we praise, praise you, we bless you. We adore you, and we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, oh God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world. Mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord, and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you, Gentiles. Inasmuch as I am the apostle to the Gentiles, I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be? but life from the dead. For the gifts and the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but have now received mercy because of their disobedience, so they have now disobeyed in order that, by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. 
And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word to answer her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus' homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. That woman became special. You became special. The word special is overused quite a bit these days. The scriptures today orient us properly, rightly, sanely, spiritually to who is special. Why? And how one becomes special. The definition of the word is this. Special, the etymology, the root of it. Special is to be given or granted in unusual circumstances. To be given or granted in unusual circumstances. Notice like the, the passive verb use, right? To be given or to be granted something. So an unhealthy understanding of special is when I make of myself, I call myself special. You call yourself special. Everyone special loses the specialness of special. When it's born of the ego, when it's born of the emotion, when it's born of the psyche. Come on, you know, the last 30 years, it's, it's a tsunami of emotional, psychological, complete meltdown. It's not born from myself or yourself. The definition of special is to be granted or to be given. Jesus is special. Israel is special. And the entire God of the Bible has to do with making people special by choosing them, electing them, choosing them. Now, this does not fly in modern egoville. We're so dizzy. So morally, spiritually, emotionally dizzy. We are under the impression if we don't make ourselves special, then we won't be included. And Lord knows inclusion is the absolute battle cry of anyone for anything, whether you're burning buildings down or destroying nations or, you know, throwing cars in rivers or 
or in healthy ways even, you know, joining clubs or joining teams, right? Inclusion is the battle cry, the litmus test. And it's always, inclusion is always defined from the ego and from within as well these days. So specialness and inclusion. But the God of the Bible, the God of the Bible chooses calls, elects, sets apart. This is what makes me or you special. It's not from our own, um, our, our own doing, our own initiative. We are being made so. So Israel in the Old Testament, Israel is always understood to have a special status among all the other nations, right? Remember, and you, um, and you Bethlehem, the smallest of, of, all, of all towns, and yet from you is going to be born the Savior of the world. Um, Israel is always, always the instrument chosen by God, made special. And now this, in modern Egoville, this can be really, really putting people off until we realize what is the purpose of God making Israel special? Is it for Israel's own sake? Never. Never. Israel is made special for the sake of the world. You heard it in the response to your psalm, right? That all the, the nations will, will flock to you. You heard it in the first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The foreigners, the foreigners will enter you. The foreigners will, will find welcome. The foreigners, not just the Jews, not just Israel. You are made special for the sake of the world. Someone needs to hold the torch. Someone needs to hold the torch. Someone needs to have a yes and invite the entire world who has said no to God into this yes. Open invitation from every sector. They will stream to you, Israel. St. Paul puts it like this in the second reading. You know that um, he says, you know, my own race, my own race, it seems to be a big buzzword these days, my own race rejected Jesus Christ, and so I'm coming to you now, the Gentiles, the ones who he came to and made them special did not want to be eternally redeemed and special. And so they reject him. I'm coming to you, Gentiles. By the way, that's who you are. You and I are Gentiles. And if you want to push the envelope a little more, you and I are the dogs who eat the scraps that fall from the table where the children of God are eating. This gospel passage ruffles feathers too. This woman's not part of the special. Right? This woman, this Canaanite woman, Israel and, and Canaanites have been battling since the day of Joshua. Since the day of Joshua. We're talking, what's like uh, 1400 years before Christ. And Tyre and Sidon. What's Jesus doing in Tyre and Sidon? By the way, you know where modern day Tyre is? What place just blew up and allowed 300,000 people to become disenfranchised? Yeah, Lebanon, right? This is where Tyre is. Right there, right on the Mediterranean, about 12 kilometers north of the, of the Israeli border. That's Tyre. What's Jesus doing outside of Israel? If we look a little bit before this scripture passage, look a, a chapter, you know, read the chapter before this, he has been rejected. He's been rejected by the Pharisees, the scribes, the teachers. His preaching, his elevating them, his moral teaching, his 
theological identification of who God is in him, they've rejected. That's what he's doing in Tyre. So now this Canaanite woman, are, oh, oh so, so the is, Israelites are the children, right? The sheep of the house of Israel. I have come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel to make sure Israel's whole. This, this chosen people God chose to be this beacon that would receive his special calling, his special endowing with his special love, his special identity, to be a torch burning in the world, inviting all into that brilliant light, including everyone, and they rejected him. So that's why he's entire. And it comes across this Canaanite woman, this is, this is a one-on-one -on -one example of what St. Paul's getting across in the second reading today. That my race, the Jews rejected him, and by God's grace, he sent me to the Gentiles, alive in Jesus Christ, to bring them, to welcome them in to this unique, special call, this unique, special status. It's being granted to them. It's being given to them. We don't make ourselves special. Anyone who's got that delusion is far from the God of the Bible. The only other God other than the God of the Bible is the God of the ego. And the ego projects anything we want the ego to project. This is what's unfolding in this one-on-one -on -one encounter with Jesus in this Canaanite. He's, he's opening the special status. That, that's why he came, right? He came for the Jews and to, re, and to have Israel become a beacon to which all the world would stream, but they reject him. So now the light himself goes to the Gentiles, to this Canaanite woman. And this dialogue ensues, and it's a little unsettling. One of the reasons that you and I would humble ourselves, would crawl, would beg, would insist, would persevere, would, would constantly endure in our demands of God is if someone we love, someone we know is sick. Yes? No? Because that's what's going on here. She's there because her daughter is possessed. She loves her daughter. She's not even there for herself, but the Lord's going to use her, like, people, the Lord, any, any reason that will bring us to the Lord, he will use, okay? If it's for her love for her daughter, so be it. Not only will her daughter come to complete healing, this Canaanite woman will enter into those made special, those entrusted with grace from on high to be a beacon for the world. Being, a, 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 being endowed with special status is never for oneself, never for Israel, for Israel's sake, never for me or for you, for our sake. It's always, always intended for the sake of being the missionaries of Christ in the world. And so watch how this ensues. Watch how this unfolds. She cries out, Son of David, have pity on me. That Son of David is, a, is the is Israelite title of the Messiah. So she knows of him, She's willing to, you know, at least honor him until she gets what, will, what, what she's there for, her daughter. She wants her daughter to be made physically, spiritually whole. He ignores her. Remember? Israel is the chosen people. He ignores her. She cries out a second time, and now a verbal response from Jesus this, this is indicative, right, of the Samaritan woman at the well. Remember when, when Jesus makes her work for it as well because he's exercising their spiritual lungs. He's helping them realize they are being called into this very special status 
of being one in the living God. And so the second time the woman, you know, speaks to him and demands even more, and, and the disciples are getting annoyed, send her away, she's annoying, but, but she demands, and now perhaps something pretty offsetting. I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Sounds exclusive, right? He's awakening in her because he's entire because they've rejected him. Then the final piece de resistance. Look, I accept the fact that they are God's chosen people. I accept the fact that the Lord has chosen them, called them specially to reveal him, to, to, to flood all the nations to Israel, to let them come to know the one true God, and for that God to lift them up. I accept that. But the scraps that they leave, she's saying, look, they rejected you. Can't you give to us what was intended for them? I long for it so deeply. How badly, brothers and sisters, and you praying at home, how badly do you long for Jesus Christ? The church is in the mediocre and even worse than mediocre status of this day and age, the Catholic Church, from failures on every level because we from consecrated sisters and brothers and laity and priests and bishops, everyone, families, husbands, wives, youth, have kind of failed to entertain that deep question. How badly do I long for you, Jesus Christ, for the fullness of the God of Scripture, for the fullness of salvation that Jesus brings into my life? How deeply do I really long? Or have I forfeited this special status? In your baptism, you became uniquely chosen. You were specially granted and specially given eternal life through the death and re resurrection of Jesus Christ. Not for you. Never for you. Never for me. It's always through us. It's always a missionary special status. Finally, Jesus to the woman, you have the faith that is able to receive the grace I pour out. You have the hunger, you have the deep longing, you have the, 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 the expressive faith. Go, your daughter is healed, and even more, lady. You are sitting at the table. There's no replacing this table. There's none. I know the burning church is down all over the planet. And, you know, we try to write it off as just, you know, accidental and whatever. There's no replacement for this altar. The, the altar is the lifeboat. You see all that flooding out there? The ark has crashed. Every altar is the lifeboat. We get fed on earth with special status food. The body and blood of Christ poured into me and you because we are the body of Christ. Until we sit at the banquet table in heavenly glory. Yes, you are special, but not for your own sake so that through you, Christ may be poured out into the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God.
We praise Almighty God for his mercy that has permitted God to elect you, choose you, draw you and all who accept Christ into eternal life in the Son of God, confident that our Heavenly Father always hears his Son and we are the body of Christ. We lift our petitions let our response to the following petitions be, Living God, hear our prayer. Living God, hear our prayer. For the church, may the grace and mercy of the Holy Spirit continue to strengthen her in faith and unity. We pray to the Lord. Living, Living God, God, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For leaders of nations throughout the world, May God grant them a spirit of reconciliation and collaboration. We pray to the Lord. Living God, hear our prayer. For married couples who face difficulties, may God's grace give them strength in their work toward reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Living God, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, May they experience the mercy of God and rest in his eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Living God, hear our prayer. For those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Living God, hear our prayer. For the special intention of this Mass, for special birthday blessings for Jacqueline Bauer and for the people of St. Joan of Arc, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Living God, hear our prayer. Pray with me, brothers and sisters, for the survivors of that terrible blast in Beirut and for the souls of the hundreds who have died. Pray for sincere care and relief extended by hearts that are humane across the world and for justice in that nation we pray to the lord for a god-given and god-driven cure to the physical virus of covid 19 that has taken some lives and terrorized the billions on the planet that is being used constantly to manipulate and terrorize in various ways, and gain power in other ways, we pray for a deeper spiritual cure, a much deeper, much more eternal, much more life-giving, miraculous spiritual cure to the human soul that is so sickly, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Bless us, Heavenly Father, who come to you in and through your Son, our Lord, who reigns forever and ever. You know that at the offertory, you are primarily pouring forth yourself on this altar. Christ always glorifies the Father by offering himself. You are the body of Christ. This bread and wine taken from the earth and our very lives on this altar become Christ offering the Father praise. Our sacrificial giving, although we are prevented from passing the offertory basket physically, it remains at the head of the church there. Don't separate your full life offered on this altar from all of your first fruits offered to the Lord in your sacrificial giving. They are one. And you will never hear me ask, as some do, first for your earthly resources. That's tragic where that happens. You will hear me ask first for the Lord's mercy in your life and mine and your yes to Christ for the sake of salvation. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Lord, be God forever. 
Bless thee, Lord God of all creation, by your goodness. We have received the wine we offer you, fruits of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Now pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. The praise of the Lord is the name. For our good and good Amen. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, so that by offering you what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always, everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, Jesus brought renewal to humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, Jesus canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by his ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you. Now, therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks. You have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis, our Pope, Barry, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, especially Jackie Bauer, for whom we celebrate this Eucharist, that with blessed Mary, ever virgin mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and with all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At our Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver, us. deliver us, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that, with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. O oh Lord Jesus, who said to his apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, look on the faith of your church and graciously grant her the peace and unity in accordance with your will who reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Amen. Agnus Dei qui tolis peccato mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei qui tolis peccato mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccato mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, the Savior of the world, who includes all who receive him. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul. May the body and blood of our Lord keep you and me ever safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
To the homebound, please meet me here to my left. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from Christ's side, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come unto thee, <clears throat> that I may praise thee with thy saints and with thy angels forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to Jesus' image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Folks, please be careful going home. Uh, there's floods all over the place. Also, um, the, if, in case you have relatives or friends who are vulnerable and were not able to worship at the Holy Day Mass this morning at 10 a.m., um, it is now available as of about 30 minutes ago. Uh, it's in their mailbox, the, the, the uh, video. I want to thank Jean-Paul Vernier, He's new on the team for uh, capturing the masses for those who are unable to worship with us because of vulnerabilities. Also, um, this is the vigil mass at 5.30. This will be made available tomorrow by 8 a.m. for the Sunday, 20th Sunday mass for folks. There will be mass celebrated Monday morning at 9. As we're able to do that this Monday, so, so be it. And all throughout the week, praise and worship is on Wednesday nights, always at 7, adoration, followed by Holy Mass. This coming Saturday, there will be a 1 p.m. funeral Mass for Mary Barkley, Mary Berkeley, 
Uh, that'll be 1 p.m. this coming Saturday. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint, Saint Michael. Michael.
Your saints and your martyrs echo the song of the truth. Nothing to lose but to gain. Adoring the Lamb who was slain, who pours forth His power and riches and strength. Not by appearance we see, no. By appearance we see no Now that darkness is banished and light is mine In Christ we go Although boy Jose Darío never turned from you And Teresa of your name out loud While the girl Maria Goretti kept your body in sound Oh, the fire could not consume your servant Joan of Arc Nor the priest named Colby sacrificed for naught not by appearance they see, no, but in the power and the light of the living God. Not by appearance they see, no, now the darkness is banished and light is mine. Not by appearance we see, no, but in the power and the light of the living God, not by appearance we see, no.